becomes as synonymous with the MPV market as the Ford Galaxy. Since its launch in 1995, it's been one of the default choices for big families on the move. This latest version offers flexible seating, low running costs and a plethora of engine choices. But how does it compare with its competitors, such as the Grand C4 Picasso, Volkswagen Touran and Seat Alhambra? Watch on to find out. One of the Galaxy's biggest plus points is that it doesn't feel like a big car to drive. In fact, it's one of the most agile seven-seaters around with good body control and sharp steering. Although once you've turned the steering wheel beyond a certain point, it goes a little bit too light, which means judging your inputs can be quite tricky. On a more positive note, the Galaxy rides over most surfaces rather well, and although there is some wind and road noise, it's not overly intrusive. 1.5 and 2 litre petrol engines are available, but as you would expect, it's the diesels that make most sense. We like the 2 litre 150 diesel because it has the right blend of performance, economy and value for money. The standard six-speed manual gearbox has a slick action, while there's a smooth shifting automatic as an option. If you're coming to the Galaxy from an SUV, you'll like the raised driving position and excellent visibility means it's relatively easy to park. Although the dashboard is not very interesting, it is logically laid out. What lets it down is the infotainment system, because although the home screen is simple enough, it's the sub-menus and fiddly icons that make it quite laborious to use. For example, if you want to put a destination into the sat-nav, it's quite a convoluted process. You're better off using voice control, which is one of the best systems of its kind. I really like Apple CarPlay, and so if I just get my phone out so that I can show you how that works, what I would say about the Galaxy is that storage is very good. We have the deepest central storage ever, which is great for families. Combined with the cup holders, the large glove box and door bins, eventually I get to my phone. And if we just plug it in like so, you will find that when Apple CarPlay is activated, you can receive text messages, it will read them out and that helps you to stop using your phone while driving. Of course, safety is key. Message from Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Hello, Rebecca. Would you like some lunch? Want to reply? No. OK. There's a real feeling of space in here, whether you're travelling in the middle row of seats or the rears. Plus, this low central tunnel means that even with three people sitting side by side, there's plenty of room for their feet. And there are three proper seats with Isofix on each one, and they independently slide and recline. Access to the third row is similarly good. With a gap large enough to climb through and once here, even adults taller than me will have enough head and leg room. Cup holder, snack holder, what's not to like? And even with all seven seats in place, there's still room for some luggage more so in five seat form and with all seats folded down it is simply massive watch this for some magic there's no getting away from the fact that the galaxy is expensive compared with its rivals but if you're buying it on monthly finance that difference is less of an issue the Galaxy's fuel consumption is good and low emissions mean its running costs are affordable. And there's no need to look beyond the entry-level ZTEC trim because that gets you climate control, DAB digital radio, Bluetooth and six airbags. The only option we'd recommend you add is automatic emergency braking. The Galaxy is a supremely capable family MPV then, which we'd recommend over direct rivals. But if you don't regularly carry seven, you might be better off with a smaller and cheaper Volkswagen Touran or a large SUV. For plenty more on the Ford Galaxy, head to whatcar.com and never miss another video by clicking subscribe.